few days back i received this in a package it is a digital potentiometer and in this video i will show you how to use it and what you can make with it by the end of this video you will be able to vary the resistance in accordance with distance so let's have a look at it a digital potentiometer or digipod does the same function as a normal or mechanical potentiometer but instead of mechanical action it uses digital signals there are various types of digipods available out there like mcp4131 ad5252 etc i will be demonstrating x9c503p ic which is a 50 kilo ohm digipod let's have a look at its data sheet it requires input at three of its pins to function and it has 100 wiper tap points wiper is the pin from where you measure the varying resistance in any potentiometer and this means that this digipod is not completely analog but it has various tap points where the wiper pin gets connected internally and we get value of resistance at that pin accordingly its maximum working voltage is 5 volts we can also see that there are various versions available in the series and are named according to the fixed resistance they can offer pin number 1 2 and 7 are the control pins 4 and 8 are supply pins 3 and 6 are fixed potentiometer terminals and if you measure resistance between these two you will get the value according to the series number of your ic the wiper is pin number 5 now let's see how to use it pin 1 is called the increment pin which is an active low pin and it will increase or decrease the value of resistance according to the signal at pin 2 which is called up slash down pin if pin 2 is connected to ground low signal at pin 1 will decrease the value of resistance and if pin 2 is high it will increase the value of resistance pin 7 is called chip select pin which is also active low and it is used to select the ic if it's high the ic enters low power mode and to make the ic work we will have to ground the pin number 7 the ic also has a non volatile memory which stores the current value of resistance and sets the wiper terminal to that stored value when device is turned on again to save the resistance value in memory pin 1 must be high when the chip is entering low power mode This is the circuit diagram I made to demonstrate its working. I connected everything according to this in a breadboard. These are the two push buttons with pull-up resistor connected to pin 1 and pin 2. These are connected to pin 5 and 6 where we will measure resistance and these are the power wires. I connected the IC and then applied 5 volts using Arduino. As soon as it powers up, we have readings on the multimeter. While holding down the push button connected to pin 2, if I press push button of pin 1, the resistance decreases each time by a value of 0.5 kilo ohm as 50 kilo ohm divided by 100 steps is 0.5 kilo ohm. When I press push button of pin 1 alone, resistance starts increasing again with a step of 0.5 kilo ohm. Now we know that everything is working fine. Let's move on to the next step. To measure distance I will be using this HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor. An ultrasonic sensor also known as ultrasonic range finder is a device that can measure the distance of an object by using sound waves. It measures distance by sending out a sound wave at a specific frequency and listening for that sound wave to bounce back. By recording the elapsed time between the sound wave being generated and the sound wave bouncing back, it is possible to calculate the distance between the sonar sensor and the object. To test it, I connected the trigger pin to pin 13, echo to pin 12 of Arduino, and applied power. I uploaded this program, which you can find in the description, and opened serial monitor and asserted that the sensor is working fine. So now at last I'm going to fuse these together to make an awesome project. I connected everything according to the circuit diagram and applied power to both digipod and ultrasonic sensor and uploaded this program. This program uses a library for the digipod built specially for ICs of this series. What the programming does is 
First, it brings the Viper value to 0 ohms by decreasing the resistance 100 times which is the maximum. After that, it calculates the distance in centimeters and maps the value between 0 and 200 from ultrasonic sensor to 0 to 100 for Digipod as there are 100 number of steps. You should change the value of 200 to the maximum possible distance in your project for better reaction and that distance can be found using the serial monitor from this sketch itself. After mapping, the resistance of Digipod is increased or decreased in accordance with the distance calculated by the program. Upload this program, connect one of the fixed terminals to ground and connect one LED with a low value current limiting resistor like 470 ohms between the wiper terminal and VCC. Now take an obstacle like a cardboard and vary the distance between sensor and the cardboard. The brightness of the LED should change according to the distance of the cardboard from the sensor being maximum when the distance is zero and minimum when distance is maximum. You can also do vice versa and a lot more things by tweaking with the sketch. Well, I know this is also possible easily and efficiently using the PWM pins of the Arduino. But let's say you have a speaker in which you are playing music using your mobile or some other device. Now, if you connect the speaker through this Digipod, you can have an awesome effect which looks and sounds pretty cool. Hence, the application of this project is just limited by one's imagination and it will do very well once you have a great idea for it. So this wraps up our video. If you like this video, do care to share. Thank you guys for watching. Till next time.